Greetings and welcome to Sweet Transit. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in the last episode, we set up some basic materials uh, making uh, stations and processes and things and stuff. Uh, we have Tulinga City, which is uh, providing employees to work at these various places. This is the area that we're going to upgrade in various ways and to produce various different things. Uh, we also have Coal Mine 1 um, delivering to Warehouse 1 as well as Tulinga City because we do need to spread that fuel around. Sawmill 1 is producing um, the wood product that we need for, um, what is the word? Assembly <laughs> of various things. Uh, to we, we need it to build stuff. <clears throat> and then we aren't to cut stone yet or bricks, but those will come soon enough. So let's back, get back to our city and find out what we can unlock next. Now we have a market available at 400 laborers. So I suggest that we now go into making some more housing for our people kind of get this going on uh or it does or does not work depending on our proclivities night apparently not let's just get that in a block hello please night all right we're out of lumber we need more lumber lumber is needed so how f how is this going do we need can we make another lumber mill let's find out can we make another soil mill Let's see, sawmill capacity, yes. And we can put one, Urgh. Oh, what we need here is we actually need a distribution center. So we click on the logistics thingy thingy and we get a distribution center, which should become, uh, we need 50, 50 lumber to make this. So we'll wait for a couple more deliveries here and it will be fine. All right, we are going at speed two right now, which is 4x, I believe. <clears throat> nice, look at this. This is going pretty well. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, we aren't making that much. We really do need a little bit more production for this. Um, but I'm thinking I need to delete a few of these trees here so that we can put in the distribution center so that we can get all of this stuff in here. Okay, very nice, very nice. We're getting there. We do actually have a slight, uh, yeah, production 36, upkeep 38. This is not good. Uh, I believe that what is using the timber is the houses. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hello, help, wait, no, no. Oh, distribution center. Let's pause and click. Night, 34 again. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to build a... Let's try to delete... I think we need to delete these guys for now. We will add them back uh, my, maybe in a different spot. Now, the distribution center, according to the tutorial of this game, I haven't really tested this a lot, a lot, a lot. But what it is, is um, um, it it's a thing that allows a train stop to pick up from more than one production building okay so sawmill there we go processes trees oh wait no this is not what we want we want to look at this the distribution center a structure that can manage multiple production facilities of the same type a station can load and unload using this structure now i don't know exactly how it works uh if you can maybe put a thing over here we can try it we can actually try this Oh, that's a village hall. We don't need that at all. We need a sawmill. We need many sawmills. Let's go and turn this the other way. And then I want to put in a few of these guys. Okay. And then we'll put in another sawmill. We're going to fill this with sawmills. Okay. And put in this. Uh, these will all have their own thingy thingies, their own storage structures. Put in this one here. That one we'll put in. These over here. We want to just have enough to have enough. Let's put another one in over here. I'm just basically filling this up. This costs us very, very little. Just remember that. Um, these are money. Are they money? Yeah, they're, they cost 2,000 money. And we have more than that right now. I think we'll leave that there. I don't know if that one can reach this or not. 
Um, but what we want to do here, let's go back to the first treed area and then add in, we're at 72 of 120. So let's put this one down here. There's 120. Okay, so the next one is here. We'll put in the tree bits over here. Oh no, this one, wrong thingy thingy. I always did this with Anno, you know, like go to like the furthest spots to fill. Right now this one, we'll fill this with the lumbery bits over here. Eh, there we go. Uh, so that you can have much more room on the other sides. This one will also do something quite similar. Just go up this way. There we go. Nice, nice. Okay, then this one. There we go. Okay, and there, that's from 93. Okay, so going down here. I'm kind of glad I went from all the way over here to complete, make this huge, huge uh, section over there. So now we have many more buildings. We're going to start bringing more employees because remember, each of these trains brings in 40 employees from Tuling and they will come and work uh, before we had kind of an overabundance of employees. Uh, we have one, one building satisfied with workers. So let's see what the next one, what the next one does. And each building that's going to be uh, getting workers is going to produce stuff. So it should be just fine in terms of like filling up with things and stuff and seeing how that works. So uh, we'll see how this works. Wait, are there not enough people in Tolinga? Hello? Hello? Or maybe those... There are no... Oh, there's no one who can board the train. That is inconvenient. So we need to actually expand the village somewhat here so let's go ahead and get that going laborers residences yes let go let go we'll go here night okay night apparently is the word of the day all right what hello why is this not working what are we missing for this we have oh where's the money I don't, I don't know why this is not building. Hello? There's one. Oh, we're going into the yellow zone. That's why. I keep forgetting that the yellow is like unhappiness avenue or something. <laughs> it's a weird thing, I guess, but yeah. Okay, let's just put in the roads. Perfect. Excellent. And then here, we can also put in a water tower that on that side instead change that one and just chuck this one out we could actually move these buildings i think we should i think we definitely should in fact um this one we can also move out as well so let's just check where this needs to be we can put it there but let's see what fits here that one fits there so I want to delete this water tower and put it closer by one tile. Okay. Oh, whoops. Too, too far. Get another water tower here. And then the next thing we can build here is a market. So markets are really good. Um, what we're going to do with that is put one in. Let's try putting one in the middle first. So we'll get rid of... <laughs> We are all kinds of organized today, you can see. Mm hmm. Yeah, that was not ideal. Bad me. Bad, bad me. I don't know if we get any of the materials back. Probably not. I don't know. Anyway, this is what we got. So now let's make sure that we can get markets in these other places. Uh, this is a good start there. We don't have enough uh, wood there. Uh, let's put that there again. Okay, so market will be here uh, when we have enough lumber. So lumber is coming in. It looks like it's growing really well, doing well. Let's see over here. What are we? What's our status? We have almost no people. We really need more people. So if we look at these um, places, you can see what. They have access to, right? These people have no fish. This is not good. 
Um, they have water, increases happiness, service of market, increases happiness. Their happiness is 77% at the moment. They rest and grow faster. Um, they don't have bread or clothing. Those are a little bit later on. We do actually need more of the um, this food production, which is fish. Uh, so let's make fish production here. Uh, let's see, that's this. There we go. And try to get those on a, uh, mm, this, this, I don't like this menu. This UI is absolutely terrible. Um, it's not good. It is not good. Uh, all right. So this is our small, um, what do you call it? This is a storage zone. So what we want to do here is try to build a market. That's the stoneworks. No, we want a market. Where are you? The market? Ah, no, we don't even have, we don't have the wood. That's the problem. So we are lacking wood right now. All these people marching on up from the train station. Excellent. Okay, so do we, we don't actually have people here. This is not good. We need to make sure that they're getting in here and bringing in wood. We, do, we have plenty of trains, we just don't have enough production of wood. As you see, only one building is functioning with 40 employees right now. Uh, these people, do they have any? They have zero. Wow, that's that's surprising to me because you would think that this many houses would produce more than 40 employees. That's a tiny bit crazy here. But let's see, let's look at one of these houses. So this is rested, uh, wow, minus nine, resting 135, working 323. Uh, so we have, I guess we have people working at the coal mine. These numbers don't add up. Hold on a second. This doesn't even make sense. These don't have employees. These don't have employees. Only these do. Oh, 18 of 40. Like what? What's going on, dudes? Maybe they're working at the fish farms. Okay. Maybe these are where they're working. 440. No, these don't say... They just say this is the amount of laborers in the town. So I'm not actually understanding what's going on here. No clue about this. This is very strange. Market is not in range. Yes, I'm aware. Thank you very much. Let's see. Let's try to build. Can we build? No, not yet. We need 50. 50 lumber. This is really confusing to me, actually. I don't know why... It says we have 400 laborers, and then we don't have that many. Where are they all? Where are they? Oh, that was close. That was close. We just need a little bit more. Could they be stuck on the trains? Wait. I think it passed coal. What I'm wondering... We might have too many on trains. That actually might be a thing. So this train... I want to edit the train's cars. So this is Tool Pass Coal. Let's go ahead and find that uh, that train consist here. So let's go Train to Queue, Tool Pass Coal, which is this one. We want to take off these wagons. Remove. Because I think there's some getting on here that we don't need. So let's select this train again. This is a really cool feature of this game, which I think I really wished was on many train games. Really many train games. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the gear icon. We're going to do um, upgrade. We're going to change it from train to route or train preset, which is tool pass coal. No, no, no. This is not right. I don't know why this is doing this this way. This was working. When I tried to do it before, tool pass coal. Is that what we want to train? Tr All right, let's try it a different way. This should work in some way. 
We're going to hopefully find out what way that will be. Uh, no, no, no. Let's go to the train again. This is the train we're talking about. Upgrade to... To train... Train preset. Train presets. Yeah. Tool pass coal. Nay. This is another one I don't understand. If I select tool pass coal, why do I have to select this? Why, why do I get this? I, I don't understand this. I thought this one is only one train preset. I don't, I don't understand it. In any case, it is, it will be fixed. I think it should just, let's see, what is it going to do right now? Is it going to, no. Okay, train, we asked you to do a thing. Please send to train depot. Let's try this. Let's do a uh, tool pass coal. No. I'm not sure why this is not saving. Um, because it feels like we're... See, this one is already done. This is... This is tool pass coal. Yes? Can we delete? Enter again? Copy train. Create a new preset. No. Select root. It's not changing the train. I'm going to just delete it. By the way, that X button is delete. It says something like cancel, but it's not cancel. It is delete. All right. Here we go again. There we go. Uh, I don't know why that didn't work. Because when I have um, tried that in the past, it basically instantly changed the consist of the train. So I'm not sure why that didn't work. I'm really confused by the, why that didn't work. Okay, there we go. Tlinga City. We have eight people waiting. It's not a lot. Wondering if I should delete one of the fish markets here. Are they not getting any food at all? No market not in range. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to delete a couple of these for now. Because maybe the workers are being eaten by the fish markets or fish uh, fishing zones. There we go. Also, this is nice. They're stopping at the platform. What I learned in uh, Svidenland, thank you to Matthias for this information, is that the trains, when you're coming up to a platform, you stop at the platform. You don't stop at a signal. Which I think I, I mean, Factorio uses a station signally thingy. I mean, there is a sign where the train is supposed to align, but that's kind of for um, alignment purposes, right? But it's not a signal. It's not a light. And I thought that was interesting because I didn't realize that ever. Okay, stop. Uh, now, what we're going to do is use a market to make these people happier. And I hope that will increase our throughput of workers here. Uh, let's get a market. Is that it here? Market? Hello? Yeah? Yeah. Mm. Tasty. Nice. Uh, all right. This will also uh, take food from this storage place. Now, here, this thing is... It doesn't quite go through. We could try to put roads through here. See if that will fit now. I don't know if it'll work. Whatever. Uh, looks like the markets also may need employees. I'm not actually sure. It doesn't say, does it? Right. Uh, all right. So we do need more fish. It does only show us having very few fish. Uh, this says inhabitants can they get, okay station in range as yes, I'm aware thank you very much we could try to delete a few of these houses in hopes that they will move into other houses no actually that, that doesn't matter no no what I meant is they're using up too much food uh, yes that's what we're thinking about now whoops I keep forgetting that gray is good I don't know how that's a thing seems like the yellow is a more positive color to me uh, I would have used red for cannot do uh, instead of yellow. That doesn't make sense to me. 
Uh, the gray also grayed out is a thing, so that could be the opposite as well. Um, I wouldn't have used. Um, I would. I would have put these colors completely backward. <laughs> but that's how I understand things. You know, I'm. I'm weird. I get that. I am. I am different. Um, other people may disagree. Indeed, should feel free to disagree. Uh, indeed, is this really not close enough? Huh. Uh, hmm. Let's look at these two houses. This is 107%. These are 107 happiness, and these are 107. There's no, there's actually no difference in happiness. That's very funny. Uh, let's see. We have a knock over here, but it doesn't make too much sense. Production is too low. It says it's low, but it's going up. I don't know what's going on here. Again, something strange is happening. Um, for why these people... 12 on there. Okay. They should be delivering some people here, you would think. There aren't enough people working. I'm hoping... That the distribution center helps us, like, actually get people to work. Not really sure what's going on with this. Why is this not... Okay, if we escape, it only shows this thing as working. Hmm. That's really confusing to me. I thought that the distribution center is a thing that gives us... Uh, hmm. I wonder if I need a road. Let's try an experiment here because it doesn't seem like these uh, places. Let me pause. This car has 40 people in it. And able to work are 28. So this is definitely going wrong here in uh, this way. So what I'm going to do, let's try a thing. Let's try... Yes, destroy. Oh, that was really not exactly what I would like to do. But it's fine. It will be fine. We will fix it. Let's try to do this. Now, if I do a sawmill... I mean, this is the station for the sawmill. Let's try to do a thing here. Let's see. If we do a sawmill here... Does this... No. Let's see if they if they get some here. We do have a road now. This takes from there and there, but the station, for whatever reason, it's only highlighting this one. What happens if I build a sawmill over here? Does it take from there as well? No. Forty are able to work. This one is getting no people. This is not good. This is really not good. Um, that's a bit frustrating. I'm I I I have no idea what's going on here. I'm feeling like shoot. I need to probably re rethink this entirely. Um. Well, I mean, I could do a thing that's, um... <sighs> I really hope you don't have to have more than one station per thingy. Surely not. I mean, really surely not? I hope. I hope. Is there another thing that we can do here? Logistics. Let's look at this for a second. Train depot. Okay, so distribution center. A structure that can manage multiple production facilities of the same type. Station can load and unload using this structure. Okay. So what if we did something different? So this distribution center is connected there. But I think I need to... Let's delete these things. Yes. Go away. Go away. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Go away. Go away. Get rid of that. Get rid of the distribution center. Now, let's click it again. See if we can do this. Small station. 
I guess you can't do multiple small stations that close. Um, they can connect together multiple... Oh god, really? Hold on, wait a second. Can, can Hold on, what does it say again? Connect together multiple production facilities of the same type to a station. So connect to here. Or connect to here. Uh, okay, let's try something else. Let's click this thing. You know what? I thought I had this working in my test game. That's why I'm flailing a bit. I apologize for that. Uh, okay, connect. Do I need to do a road? Uh, connect. Sawmill times two. Okay. This. Oh, now it's still doing that one. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can do a thing here. Let's do wood storage first. And then we'll get our boards. Is this one fully done? Is this one fully at capacity? Yes, 120. Now we'll do this one. Okay. Let's see if we can, if this will work. Sawmill times two. Okay. No. It's still not getting employees. I don't really understand this, I have to confess. I really don't get this. Why is this? It says it's connected to two sawmills. Yes. But for whatever reason, the employees are not getting to the other sawmill. Why is that not working? Small station connected to the sawmill. Coin upkeep. Three trains. Yes, we see them all. Yes. We've had multiple... Stop. Yep, 40, 40 people on this train. This is super frustrating. I'm not really sure why... This is not working. And I do understand the idea that a distribution center is made to... Do I need it up to the tree line? No, surely not. Maybe I need to connect this to there. Does that work? Oh, oh, something's happening. Maybe. Maybe that will work. Let's see if we get any employees now. Please? Yes! Haha! <laughs> we got it! Okay, problem solving in real time. There you go. Woohoo! Boom! Okay, so that's the way to do it, obviously, is to connect the station to the distribution center. To be perfectly honest, I have never noticed that option before now. Um, I, I did not see the clicky thing before, this thingy up here. I thought it was like automatically doing stuff for us, but apparently it does not. So there we go. Anyway, now we should have more than enough to fill up these various thingies and stuffs and all the bits and pieces. Yes. So there we go. And we'll go ahead and add wood to the over here parts. All right. Here's got some Anno building right over here. This part really reminds me of Anno. This, I, I guess you probably could tell. But yeah, I, I like that that particular like uh making the crops making the things making the stuff it's very anime to me okay so that's two there let's fill in the middle okay and then we're gonna get let's get in the the um the track i mean road track uh tracked road or whatever you want to call it put in another sawmill here yeah there we go and we'll put in our little storage containers out this way and get in this lovely stuff trees yes boom ray okay that's 69 81 several more and boom okay four more there we go nice so this is what's getting what do we got here now where we've connected Four sawmills. Cool. Oh, this is great. Look at this. Is this not fantastic? 
Ah, oh, this is great. Oh, all the wood is happening. Hooray. All right. Fantastic. So we only have three trains. I think that means we can only support three sawmills uh, with uh, workers. So that means the best thing to do now is to... Um, we need to upgrade our city, really. We need to get 800 laborers. So let's see. Uh, there we go. And let's get... F no, those people have no jobs. That's right. Because this is how far the city uh, station uh, extends. So what we need to do here, then, is just get another couple of spaces and kind of do the whole thing over again. Let's just go there again, and this, and this. Proceed. Good, good. Can probably move this whole thing over a tiny bit. And delete this market, replace the market, which is here. And then put in an extra house there. Dwellings. Okay, there we are. And then we get our housing again over here. And of course, put in all of the water towers that we have. There we are. Nice. All right, so now our labor population is skyrocketing once again. And I will add another fish making place. Market not in range. I'm surprised that that is not a thing because like, it's, I don't know, it feels like the market should always be in range, uh, or the, there are markets nearby anyway. Let's see, market, do we need another one here? Probably. That might go this way, actually. There we go. So what's going on with you guys? You guys are no station in range, of course, yeah. There is that. Let's go ahead and delete. Actually, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. Leave it because our next goal is 1300 laborers. Now we need to produce cut stone. That is the next uh, big task for us. And to do that, we need to have stoneworks uh, happening. And I wonder if I can actually get this distribution center to allow us for some stone. Or it's probably better to actually have that in its own station. Um, because these are all single purpose trains. Uh, well, s technically, sing a single, st um, what do you want to call it? Single production trains, because they do take in two different materials, as in people power, as well as the wood, um, and then they move them. So they're kind of single purpose, um, to get, uh, that to happen. But we do need stoneworks, and that material... Uh, is is garnered from a quarry. So we need two different things now. We need farms and we also need a quarry. Uh, farming is basically gives people the opportunity for more food. Um, these are not enough work. Now people are unhappy that there's not enough jobs for them. There are not enough jobs for them. So these people also don't have a market. So let's go ahead and give them a market. There we go. And that can go here. Sure. Actually, you know what we should do? We should actually do it this way. And then have a road that goes through to the other side. That's actually much better than having a market every few tiles. Now, can we... Do we want to make a... Let's see. What? What? The other thing we might want to do is... Let's look at our... Make sure our coal is not going down. Because that's a bit of a problem. There we go. Capacity 300, amount 291. Exports is 8 and imports is 0. Um, I don't know what that means. It looks like it's okay, though. These are production and upkeep. Why don't we have upkeep on here? That's weird. Uh, it's, instead, it's imports, exports. Weird. Okay. In any case, it doesn't really matter. We can put a farm out here. Maybe that will make people a little bit happier. So we can look at their housing and we can see if they have potatoes. They give plus five inhabitants to each house if we give them potatoes. So I think that might be a really good thing to start off doing. Um, I want to go ahead and make... Let's make another station. 
out here um, in this land out here, which is in the logistics tab, not in that one. There we go, small station, and we'll put one right here. Uh, remember, we need about 10. Now, how far is it from the edge of the station to the edge of the thingy thingy? Let's see, here we had a, this is the station there with the platform in front. So three ahead of where we want it to be. Uh, so we can have three uh, thingies. Like that seems plenty enough. That seems really good. And we'll do our platform in the front. Like this. Okay. And as always, skip two. And skip two. Perfect. Excellent. Night. Not that one. This one. Okay, very good. And then this is going to be our coal storage. We would like to do just two there. I don't know if we're actually going to deliver coal here. So that's just for funsies for now. It doesn't hurt anything to put it in. So you might as well. Oh, no. There we go. So this is our station uh, for the food production. Okay, this is fun. Right? Uh, what we're going to do with... Okay, sure. Let's just do a different thing there. It will be fine. It will be fine. There we go. And then the output goes there. We'll just connect it all up. Okay, there we go. So, um, in... I guess it doesn't necessarily matter. We need to do a thingy here. There is a signal in the way here. That is the resolving signal there, but we need to take it off for now so that we can extend this line. I wasn't careful enough when I was building this track. So the output of this, let's just have them come in from the left. Uh, okay, sure. So this is out, which means it's going to go that way. Okay. Okay. And then the in is going to go that way. Okay. So let's just put in our signaling here. Let's go there and there. Okay. Now we need to fix this junction because that didn't work at all. Okay. And this one, we'll just put it there. Okay, again, we're going left-hand drive because that's what they do in Sweden. Um, at least with trains. On cars, uh, with cars, they drive on the right-hand side, which is very convenient for me because in a city, I don't have to look the opposite way that I'm used to, and that's kind of a safety thing. Uh, all right, so let's take this. We are doing two track, two squares apart. Let's take that there. I really like that this thing has kind of tight turning radius. It makes it really easy to... Um, plan, just easily visually plan for stuff when that is the case. It's, it's not hard to count, in other words. So let's just go this way and go and more and there and there and another, a chain signal, remember, to make sure that the trains or to allow the trains to recalculate the path these are block signals to make sure we close off these blocks uh, so that trains can be in their own block in each one. Okay, so now we have um, a station and we need to make a farm or several. What we'll do here is let's put in the distribution center first. I really don't like that the distribution center is locked behind a thing. Like I remember when we were doing the sawmill and this would have been a better teaching moment for uh, game players to say, ah, you have this option to have this distribution center, but no, 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 no. It is locked behind a separate thing. And I'm like, eh, why? This is not good. So anyway, let's go ahead and just put a road here and we'll do the same kind of a situation we had in the other area um, where we have this and then we put in a farm or seven. Uh, there's one. We'll go ahead and put in the, the storage for the crops there. And we'll put in our potatoes going along this way. Yes, good, good, good. And we'll take that going up that way for now. Perfect. 
And then let's get another potato farm in here. How much do they take? Let's see, 40 laborers. So basically if we have one passenger car per train, we will basically one train per farm. I think that's a good idea to do. It's very easy to make sure that you get enough stuff that way. Uh, I think I think I'm just gonna keep on doing it that way. It, it just makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Very good. So why don't we put in? Um, we'll put in three farms. I don't know how many we need. Probably not that many yet. Okay. Let's put in the farmy bits. The farmy bits. Technical terms used right here. Oh yes. Uh, we'll do this and just take it on up. There we go. All right. Don't know how many more we need. Oh, we still need more. Well then. Okay. Is that 120? Okay, perfect. We'll put in another farm around here-ish. Okay, so what we want to do is make sure that we... Yeah, distribution center. That that really actually makes a lot of sense and it makes... So what, what happened, it looks like, is because the distribution center was put down first, it auto-connected to that and, and didn't give us this like confusion state. So maybe, maybe a QOL thing that the devs could do is when you put down a distribution center in the range of a station, it auto connects there for the very first time. I think that would be a really good idea. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and make a train type. Uh, huh? I don't even know what this is for. Why is this up here? I don't understand that at all. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and make a, a route. I'm gonna make a new route. Uh, it's gonna be uh Tulinga city swap workers yes yes again the city and we're going to unload uh potatoes hooray we had potatoes i made swedish meatballs with my ma yesterday that was very nice um matthias taught me we actually made them together swedish meatballs in sweden it was great <laughs> and they're very tasty um i've never made them properly before um, and they're not just balls of beef. They are, there's many ingredients that goes into them and I made them properly and uh, they were very good. My mom was able to help me, which is very nice. Um, she's partially disabled. So the meatballs were more or less squished, but it doesn't matter. Um, it was good to have help um, because yeah. So what does this place need? Oh, it just needs workers. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So station four. Aha. Uh -huh. Should we name this after a city or are we just going to call it potatoes? I think we'll call it potatoes just for clarity. Let's do that. Potatoes one. Oh, be careful with the cursor. Potatoes. Oh, potatore. Potatores. A one. There we go. Potatoes one. All right. So go there, please. And um, let's see. Load potatoes. Uh, until done. I also want to do potatoes one and swap workers. Um, okay. I think that's good. So now we need to get, and we'll call it, we need to name the route, of course, um, as, uh, tool pot one, tool pot. Sounds good. Um, so let's go to our thingy thingy. All right, add train to queue. Let's do a new one. <laughs> this thing. Okay, uh, tool. It's nice to have the root thing up on the left, by the way, so that you can see what you've named things. And again, this is a very is a strange thing here. Tool pot. Go ahead. And also, that's an interesting part of the UI. Did you notice the tool pot was at the top of the list? And that's because it did have an asterisk by it indicating this is your new station, your new route. So I like that the game like, hey, this is your thing. You don't have to look for it in this massive list. It's right at the top so you can find it very easily. Uh, all right. So let's go and pick out locomotive, tender, one wagon, and then let's look for a food car. Okay, that one has potatoes. Just wanted to show you that only one of these carries potatoes. So let's do until we have our limit, 10 and a half out of 11. So we're gonna build this. We're gonna build two, in fact, one 
and make sure tool pot yes two and they should automatically slot into the correct uh, route which is great um there we go all right so now they're going to go to tulinga and grab stuff and things so there we go this one is readying we did get 40 oh this was not good okay you see what we did we or we didn't do um what we need to do is fix this track uh because the, the train was unable to go to the left because there is no left hand turn that's bad we need to fix this immediately okay so let's take that off and we're going to take this this way we need to move the signal back one tile uh, so that we can have the switch. You cannot have a signal on top of a switch because it doesn't make sense to the train. Uh, there we go. And there we go for that. Now, from here, we also need to make sure to be able to go into um, the entrance of this place. So we need to make a track connecting that. There. Er, 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 er. Nope, nope. Bad, bad KOS. Bad. There we go. Okay. So you can have this going across. This one is also going across. So make sure that you get these things properly organized. There we go. That is fine there. All right. Excellent. Let's go. Uh, there we go. Yeah, this is a little bit weird, isn't it? that this is they're actually driving on the right of this pair of rails i should have put in this being the entrance but i don't want to change it now it's a pain in the sock so no we're not changing it it's gonna be fine now are these swapping we doing okay we are doing 27 of 40 26 of 40 27 of 40. so they will be getting potatoes from all of this they have plenty in there so that's good that's actually great and I think this is a good time to actually finish up for this episode because we kind of, oh, we're lacking water. Really? Oh, weird, weird. Okay, let's just move this one out there and delete the other one. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, yeah, it's a kind of time that we probably should finish up this episode. Anyway, I just want to say thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.